Good morning. Here we are with Jake and Chloe, and we have uh, one of our Springer dogs, yeah. Alice, for the Nutbrook Canal. This is part two, so I hope you enjoy. Let's go. So not long left, Straws Bridge Pond behind. We're back with the canal and we're very, very close to lot number eight, Pewitt's Lock. Whether we'll find it, let's go and find out. In between the trees we have a bit of canal here it's actually quite great because obviously it's not running water but it's not actually moggy water which is quite good and it's obviously running next to the pond over there it's like an adventure in its own going through all this you have to be careful though end up getting whacked with trees. Absolutely amazing blossom around here. We seem to be finding it in all our walks we do at the moment. So we're now on a railway bridge. This would have been another mineral mine. So we've come from that end. We're going to continue on. Lock eight should, lock nine, sorry, should just be a few hundred feet in front of us. Here we go, we have lock number nine. This is called Lime Kiln Lock. It's actually after the Double Arch Railway Bridge. It's quite, um, Amazing ass, some of it's still up, but it's not how locks are these days. This one seems to, might have been a double lock. Not quite sure, I'm sure we can get back to you on that one. Singulars obviously are a lot more together. I don't think the earth would have moved that much, but we can get back to you on that one. So that's lock number nine. So this is the canal bed as we step down into it. There's the canal side wall there. We can wander along here and there's this channel made out which carries the bulk of the Nutbrook flow from the, the Nutbrook. If we climb back up and on this side you've got the what I believe is the remains of the Nutbrook but because the water's concentrated on the old canal it's very little used now. Let's see if we head towards lock number 10. So coming up to the end of this path now, 
lot number 10 shouldn't be that far behind. There's the normal path, but this path goes on a little bit further. So no sign of lot number 10. We'll see if we can find lot number 11, but no trace of number 10 whatsoever. Again, there's the course of the canal. I think lot number 11 is out of sight down there because there's a couple of little weirs. Let's see if we can get any closer to them. See if we can get over here somehow. Yes. Get around here. <gasps> Up here. And we're back with the canal again. No sign of any lock or weir. So the course of the canal disappears again after those last few shots. And this water treatment works. This water treatment works was put in to basically cleanse and filter any of the water coming from the Shipley area and make it cleaner for when it's left out to go along the river such as the Nut Brook. Now lot number 12 is buried within this area of ponds. So is lot number 10 and 11. Lot number 12 is also going to prove to be elusive. I also believe that lot number 13 has gone as well. So we'll carry on, see where this brings us out. Yes, we've got Alice with us today. She's certainly enjoying herself. Been in the water a lot today, aren't you, babe? Me? Yes. So over there we've got the outlet of the water which would have flowed through the canal. Now that is not the canal bed, but it's just where the water's coming from which would have fed the canal. And the canal course would have took us along, and on the right hand side over there would have been lock number 12. So as I say, lock number 13 has gone, but we can still try and find out exactly where it was. We're now having to follow this path on the hunt for this mound, which would have been part of a, a coal mine or an open cast, where lot 13 would have once stood. about 40 foot higher than the canal previously and we're standing it on the site of lot number 13. You won't believe it but because it used to be a coal mine it's probably where all the spoil was put. So there is a last little bit which we're probably not going to get to see I think it's all like this now but there was a wharf and a boat area further on. So the top of here is absolutely full of cows, highland cows, sheep. The canal finishes a little further on. It's probably exactly where all them lot are sitting. So this would have been the location of Shipley Wharf, once a hive of activity. So that is the end of the Nutbrook Canal. But it's not the end of the video. We've still got a little bit more to find every canal has to have a source of water. It's one of the main reservoirs, the Mapley Reservoir. That would be a short distance up that way. We're not going to go to that one today. We're going to follow it around. Head towards the first one, which would be Shipley Reservoir, otherwise known as the site of the American Adventure. 
Now we're looking for a trace of the canal feeder. We think we may have found it. There's a brick archway over there. It disappears under here. So if we follow this round, keep following this path, we should end up at the other end. So this is the other reservoir, the second one, which would have fed the canal. Alice is enjoying it very much. So that was known as Paul's arm. Hopefully he's still got his other arm. And next up is Shipley Reservoir. So this is Shipley's Reservoir. So next up is the Coppice Reservoir, um, we're following the Shipley Lane, so hopefully further on the right we are going to find the Osborne Reservoir that will be on the left. The weather seems to be holding up for us, Alice is enjoying it. Let's see where the corner takes us. So a little further up and we're going to find the next of our reservoirs on the left hand side. So out of sight over there is Coppice Lake and up here is the old railway line to Heater Gate which we'll follow for a little way. So that's the old railway line, should be that way. Yep, Heater Gate that way. This is where the journey of the Nutbrook begins, Osborne Pond. The water would meet this dam, make its way along here, which would then take you to Coppice Pond, which is just the other side of this road, and down there.
my pound counting here tonight. Back in the 1900s. Eight pound twenty. Well, here we have come to the Nutbrook coffee shop. It is half term and they are shot. So we have had egg and crust sandwiches. Jake is enjoying his cheese and ham. It's a pretty place, it's just a shame it's not open. The stand is looking at the next route. Good old Google. Oh, I don't know where to go. Jake's just happily smiling with his food. Yes. Grand in disaster. <laughs> it's gonna, it's gonna, buddy. You took your phone off. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all of you. <laughs> oh, there's loads more water come down. Yes. On constantly. Okay, guys. So next reservoir is Poppis, following the chippy. Oh. <laughs> Bye, guys.